in our latest edition of Where Are They Now? On the heels of that Kennewick performance against Kamaika, let's take a look at Trek Stemp, class of 2012. Uh, baseball has always been a big passion of mine. I mean, even when I'm not at practice, I like to go home and we have a little soft toss net set up and I'll go hit into that or even I'll just have my dad come out and play catch with me. I mean, just anything's really fun. Baseball is pretty much a big part of my life. It's all it has been. Um, it's cool to be out here with all your friends, you know, just playing a game. We got cool coaches. Stemp was a freshman year honorable mention all-conference shortstop. Then you got a 344 with 18 stolen bases. Let's talk about where he got his start. Started in seventh grade. This is when I kind of got into more like advanced, I guess you could say advanced type of baseball with uh, Herb Coulter, who coaches at Southridge. I mean, he started showing us like better fundamentals. I mean, we always knew the fundamentals, but he started showing us a little bit like better stuff to do. And then eighth grade, I didn't play Babe Ruth. I came down and played for AJ for Phantoms and. That's got to be where I learned most of the stuff. I mean, AJ knows so much, like with Doc and Steve and Lenny. I mean, that's just like probably a huge part of my fundamentals and hitting. Doc helped me hitting ever since I was in eighth grade, and I feel like I'm just getting better every time I hit with him. He just knows so much. Stemp would go on his sophomore year to be named the Columbia Basin Big Nine 3A Most Valuable Player. A lot of that credit goes to Coach AJ Marquardt. Well, uh... He's a, he's a special kid on the ball field. Um, he's he's definitely was blessed at birth with some amazing talents. Uh, he's a heck of a nice kid as well. So any type of success he has, we're very happy for him. Works really really hard. Just to watch him play and the stuff he does at practice, you know, you see some fantastic things in the game. But the stuff he does at practice uh, on a daily basis blow your mind too. So with this success, Stemp talks about some of his heroes and influences as a baseball player. Uh, probably the biggest one was Derek Jeter. Always been a fan of Jeter. Ever since I was little, I always kind of wanted to play shortstop like him. Uh, my brother, Corey, a freshman coach, he uh, played catch with me all the time, played catch with him. He would pitch to me and do a bunch of stuff. I looked up to him a lot. Uh, my grandpa was actually a, a big part of what I looked up to when I was little. He would take the time, no matter where we were at, at baseball games. He wouldn't even watch the people playing. He'd just take me out to the outfield and play catch with me. I mean, he was just a huge part of how I could probably hit today, even though it seems like, even though I was little and he was just soft tossing or doing whatever, I mean, I'd, that's all I do is play catch with him and hit with him. So I, he has to be a big part of why I can hit now. Shrek Stamp. So you see all the uh, accolades there on the right side of your screen there. Sophomore year, junior year, senior year. Now up at WSU batting 367 through the end of last week. That's pretty darn good. And then the first three games of Pac-12 play, yeah, he had the third best batting average. 